Good morning, guys. Today is 2nd June. We are here in Samarkand. And it's, uh, it's about 9 a.m. Uh, it's quite sunny, as you can see. The sun rose at, I think, about 5 a.m. or probably before that. And uh, we're just sitting out here now to get some breakfast. Uh, we check out from this homestay today and then we head westwards towards another city. And uh, what we're looking forward to in today's vlog uh, is basically the train that we're going to take from Samarkand to this city. So come along and let's first have some breakfast though. And watch Shish get scared of the dogs. And the then dog has taken my shoes again. Again? Why my shoes? So the puppy here is taking away Shish's shoe every time. So there's only one. <laughs> I don't know where it's gone. I don't even see it in the glass. Anyways, let's get some breakfast and then we'll catch up at the train station. Looks like she found her shoe. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. So this is Tasmin, our host here at Tasmin Maxer Hostel. And finally, Shish says she likes the white dog. Yeah. It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Very friendly little guy. But he's the one who steals your shoe. I hope yeah. you know that. Don't do cat like things. Someone's taught you the wrong thing. Sit. Sit. Oh, what is this called? Chichevitsa. Chichevitsa. It's made with lentils. Uh -huh. It's like a lentil soup. So they just served us breakfast. They've given us lentil soup, tea, some bread. Do you have uh, cheese or butter? Better I have. But I do. Smile. Simple breakfast. Oh, it's very delicious. Yeah, very nice. Nice? Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So we are done and now we are checking out. The time to head to the train station and also say bye to our very kind host, Tasmin. So... Bye! Tasmin, you like Indian food, right? Too no. much! So yesterday, Shishira was teaching her how to make Indian tea. Yeah. So next time we come, we want to try that Indian tea you make. Yes, okay? I will. <laughs> and her favorite dish is biryani. Ooh. I like biryani too much. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, like, if, if you're curious, you should definitely come meet Tasman here in Tasman Maxer Hostel. Yes. And this is what you'll get to enjoy every day. Tasman, <laughs> Bukhara. India. Yes. You like India? India. Shah Rukh Khan. Ah. Amitabh Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan. Aishwari Rai. Yes. 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 Faroz, bye. We're now running very late for the train. Let's go. Unlike India, the way to change platforms is underground. So you have to get down to the basement and go below the tracks and then you reach the other platforms.
It's so very sunny and I think about 35 or 36 degrees but I just came here to show you this. This is the bullet train here in Uzbekistan. It's called the Afrosiop. There's a slower version called Shark and both of these are the ones which run across the country. There are of course slower trains but these are very iconic. <laughs> the typical shape of this as you can see is just like every other bullet train in the world. It's a pointy nose and it's not very long. It's only about 6 or 7 carriages typically. Sometimes they go up to 11 but the longer they go then the, uh, the slower the train does become. So they usually use more number of carriages for the slow trains which uh, generally do the journey overnight or probably early hours of the morning so they cover the same distance over probably uh, two times as much uh, the time and this is what the railway station looks like everything's on an open platform only on platform number one you will actually find like the full station here it's just a small single floor base with some shade and some seats and then after three or four platforms everything is for cargo so that's why you see big cargo trains here uh, these cargo trains are sort of the lifeline of this country because the roads aren't particularly great as you go westward from uh, Samarkand uh, on the way towards the east things look definitely a lot better because Tashkent the capital is on the other side so you definitely have more options for transport there uh, last time when I came in 2018, I don't think there was even bus service across these cities but we just heard this morning from our hostel mate that buses do ply on these routes as well. So if we get a chance, maybe we'll give that a shot too. So the Afrosiop train is actually from Talgo. Talgo is a Spanish company that makes uh, fast trains. So this fast train was built probably in uh, the early 2000s but it was only commissioned much later than 2011. So you will see that this train still looks very modern in that sense even though the construction of it began a lot longer. So the train network itself is, uh, it spans like over 600 kilometers or so and the fastest leg of this journey is between Tashkent and Samarkand but in the last few years they've actually been able to expand it all the way till Kiva and probably even further than that. Uh, so right now our uh, our train ticket takes us from here, Samarkand to Bukhara. Bukhara is considered to be the holiest city in Central Asia and we plan to stay there and explore that city over the next couple of days. So the, the track this train runs on is called as the Russian Gauge, about 1.5 meters in size. The cost of building this train was apparently 70 million dollars back then. Uh, it's of course not exactly the, the real figure because I guess they would have had massive cost overruns as well. However, due to the scale of this being limited to very few trains, I think the cost was managed very well. Um, it's a, I think it's a diesel electric train, so you can see that it pulls power from the, the upper electrical lines as well. So the train carries typically around 250 to 300 people depending on the size of the cars. And the shark train is just like a version that is a tiny bit slower than this, uh, but it still looks very similar. That also was from a similar company. And, and these shark and afrosiop trains generally ply on the same routes, so you can obviously choose which one you want to go. There's very minimal price difference between the two. And we're already on the move. The train just stopped for like I think five minutes, and as soon as we said the train started moving, so it's really quick. Bullet train fast and next level. But is it 11 11.50. It's actually delayed by five minutes. Now that explains why it left so like quickly. Yeah. So there's a total of nine rows and there are two seats on each side in each of these rows. So there's a total of 36 seats and Shish and I are occupying the one row where you face the opposite side with the seats. The rest of them just, you know, it's like a typical bus or train, one behind the other. This one at the center, it meets. Oh, they have reading light. 
So the air conditioning actually blows cold air through these vents by the seat. That's why when you keep your hand here, it's cold. Ingenious. And clearly he took the window seat to enjoy it. also have plug points to charge your devices so this looks like a regular euro plug uh, which also is the same for indian ports so same charge and everybody gets two like even they have two there and two here and every seat gets it what is your name uh let's name you let them you like your name marina marina nice to meet you So we just made friends here, and they're helping us with some really interesting destinations in Russia. There is also a restaurant car. There's also a restaurant car here with ice cream and chips and more snacks. a snack card coming here oh. sorry it's better than uh, yeah it's better because you get the screen in front
what is your favorite thing about India? Mm-hmm. What is your favorite thing about India? Yeah. Favorite. Favorite. Favorite in India. If you want to go to the beach, uh-huh. it's Goa. If you want to see something interesting, then it's New Delhi, Mumbai. New Delhi, Mumbai. You How like you? the food? Very hot. <laughs> very spicy. <laughs> okay. Mm. But it's, it's very tasty. Yeah. But it's very spicy. Yeah. <laughs> They have a space yeah. to keep all the luggage near the door. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Bye. Nice ah, meeting you no. both. Ah. It's bye bye, guys. Hi. So, that was a very fun train journey. Um, this is exactly what a bullet train experience in. Uh, Uzbekistan gets you so all of this for a very reasonable price so we'll put the amount here and also the link to the website where you can buy the train ticket directly you don't have to go to an agent or even to the train station uh, it's a very fair price uh, now we have to go find transport to get into Bukhara city and the hotel is almost 15 kilometers away from here that's because the city center is that far away this is we are right now in the outskirts of the city our friend is helping us figure out the bus which bus we need to get on to he knows russian so if you know russia russian in uh, uzbekistan is really helpful Thanks to Vladimir, we were actually able to get on the local bus. He spoke to the driver and conductor in Russian and got us on board. So for 1,500 song, uh, we this can ride this. This bus will take us to the city center and from there we need to change another bus to go to our hotel. Our uh, hotel is very close to the Ark, which is like the National Citadel Monument here. Namit is like a pro now, it's the second time and he's behaving like a local language. <laughs> yeah, it's just that language is a challenge. If you, know, if you can speak even bits of Russian, it will help a lot because a lot of people here know it. Oh, okay. The bus got so crowded and everybody was standing It's absolutely crazy heat right now. It's May- 35 degrees. I don't think it's 35, it I think it's more than that. Okay. Yeah, because it definitely feels like 40. It's uh, hot air blowing, there is a bit of wind. Uh, but yeah, we are in the, in the holiest city in Central Asia and this is called Bukhara. And we've just gotten off the bus and we are just okay, walking on. We're walk to the hotel now. Yeah. I we can't wait to go there because it's a private air conditioned room with private bathroom after nearly five days. Yeah, but you don't really need air conditioning as such. It's not so uncomfortable because it's not humid. It's pretty dry. And at night, it's really cold. Yeah. So our plan right now is to get to that place by walk and see if there are any restaurants and road. Maybe we'll have a meal. Uh, we, we are a little hungry and thirsty and we are out of water also yes. and I'm, we are actually walking besides this drain uh, so There are flowers that side, you can show them that side. Yeah, the flowers <laughs> Okay, so the reason why I was telling about the drain is because this drain is like a central uh, water body that goes all the way till the city centre which is called Yabi House So if you so, follow this drain, yeah. you reach? Oh wow! <laughs> That's what I was trying to say So once we get there uh, we might just rest for a little while and then we'll catch up with you again in the evening 
uh, maybe explore a bit of the city. We could have taken the bus for this route, but uh, we chose to walk because I wanted to show Shish what it's like to walk in this heat. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, see and you. And also the logistics are too much for the bus. Okay, see you. We're getting chocolate ice cream. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Stop. Yeah, enough, yeah. <laughs> this looks delicious. <laughs> India. Mm. Yeah. India, India. Understand. Very good. Let's go in. Hope there's no dog. Hello. Uh, we had booking. Oh, yes. Yes, Shishira. Yes, yes. that's us. Yes. <laughs> Salam. Salam. Oh. Shaz Dani Mamed Vadim Yetu. Was the silly and the patons of it. This is a nice room. <laughs> Did not expect this. <laughs> ah, okay. Eta will pay you right today. AC? Yeah. No, we sign the review. No, Kako Ivan Nada Grass. Harasha? Well, you yourself regulated, please. Ah, it's okay. But what ah, we sleep in. Near Kill, huh? Okay. Such a nice place. I'm so happy. It's a private room with air conditioning and it looks so cozy. It even has a private bathroom. And did you look at the bathtub? Shower. Not too bad, not too bad at all. I like it. But he did say there's no water for about two hours, so yeah, it's okay. Just manage and so thanks you guys for coming along with us. It's been an exhausting journey because of the heat. It wasn't very tiring. Yeah. But now we'll just, you know, probably get some sleep. So we'll, yeah, we'll see you. See you in the next vlog. Bye. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, bye!